Okay, so let's create a layout using Photoshop. And here I have a 13 inch by 19 inch document and I'm viewing my grid. And I'm going to create a layout using five different Van Gogh paintings and try to put them into an interesting composition on this document. So I'm using my grid so I can get some nice clean lines. And you can view, hide, or show your grid by hitting command quotations or you can go to window, or I'm sorry, view, show, and grid. We also want to uh, go to view and snap to grid because we want uh, whatever we create to uh, align to that grid. So I'm going to choose my line tool here and our line tool is in our shape family of tools so if you can't see it uh, use your drop down menu and find it. We want to be in pixels and uh, my weight here is 20 pixels and that works really well for this document. If you want to mix up the weight a little bit you can. Um, the color that we choose for this, we can use our color picker over here. I'm just going to stick with black. That works really well. And we want to create a new layer when we um, draw with our pixels and that's just so that we have more flexibility. We can move it around. So I am going to create a new layer there and then hold my shift key down as I draw my dividing line in. So there we go. I'm creating another new layer here and then drawing another line across. I'm holding that shift key down as I do this so that I get a nice straight line and I want to try to have it align with the line that I've already created here. So I'm going to draw that across and because I have my snap to grid on that should kind of make it easy for that to snap together but if it's not I can arrow that up or down because with my move tool uh, because I have created that new layer for each one of these lines. So I'm going to continue with this and here I have two divisions and then I need three more divisions so I'm going to have to draw two more lines and I don't want them to be super obvious. I want to have um, some kind of interesting divisions so that I can create an interesting composition um, and an interesting layout as I'm going along. So here I'm going to draw another line holding the shift key down and you can see that you can take those lines beyond your document and that that's fine. And there I've got a nice connection point with all of those divisions. So that's looking good. So once you have all of the lines where you want them and you're happy with them, uh, you can go ahead and merge all of these layers. So I'm just going to select the bottom layer, hold the shift key down, select the top, and then right click and merge those layers and I'll just call those lines. So now I can start placing in the images that I want and I just want to make sure um, that the images are underneath this line layer because I want to crop them and I want those lines to go on top. Now you can use, um, I've already placed these images in, but you can use uh, Place Embedded, so File Place Embedded to place in your images. And I'm just going to move this around and find kind of a cropped version of this painting that I like. And that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go to the Marquee tool now, and that's our Square Rectangular Selection tool and turn my grid back on and draw a selection that stays within that black line. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then I'm just going to use my layer mask, little icon that looks kind of like a Japanese flag in the bottom of my layers window to mask that. Now I'm going to repeat this process with a number of other paintings. Uh, to keep this layout kind of interesting, I've turned some of these paintings to the side too because this is all about trying to find an interesting crop to these kind of well-known Van Gogh paintings. So again, just try to keep that selection within that black line. And because these layers are underneath that black line, they will um, show up in such a way that uh, we'll be able to see kind of our dividing lines and then you'll have that perfect crop of the image within each of those sections. So again, we're just using layer masks for each of these parts. So it's not super complicated, but as you can see, um, if you think about kind of an interesting way of cropping this, 
Um, not a super obvious way. So, um, you know, a, a super obvious way of cropping all of these would be to try to keep all of the different parts as even as possible. But here you can see we have a really large area where I'm placing this image now. Um, we have some kind of thinner, really kind of slices of space. Um, so try to create some areas where you can get some interesting crops of these paintings and not the super obvious kind of painting size. So there we go. That looks pretty good. So as you're doing your own, experiment with these and have some fun and come up with an interesting Van Gogh layout.